but just not getting the, the job done in the final. But to win on tour year Nine after year, season. that's good. But already in control of this set. Not only winning the only leg 60. played, well, up until that shot, he was in control of this leg. Uses the heaviest darts in the PDC professional circuit. 38 grams, I believe they are now. Unbelievable, isn't it? We've got Stephen Bunting coming up next to at the other end of the stale. Not quite so much as before. It's like the weight of a shoulder of lamb. <laughs> Tops. He loves it. And this is another thing I think that he's he's had for a while, but he has this this manner about him that when he does something good, he he, he tries to let you know. Another. It's been a cracking set. It, it really does feel like we've only just started. Ninety-four. <laughs> Up top, got to think about leaving a finish. Oh, that's it. I think that was Ryan unlucky. It was 44. a deflection, I think. Twenty-four. I'm visibly not happy. I like this from Sel so far. The, the confidence. He feels like a player that isn't going to miss. Yeah, and he, he, know, he knows. He knows he's the better player of the two on that stage. Even if Tomoya picks it up, I think he thinks he's got him beat. Ryan, you're going and it's not often you feel like that on a world stage. I never did. For the set. I did say he didn't faff. This is faffage. Game oh, minimal faff. He even leaves the arm Ryan. out there. The peacockery, the plumage. He's loving life right now. Ryan Searle wins that set in double quick time. It's 1-6-1. One, Big ask, just needs to find a treble and can't. Ryan, you're yeah, he's back on the 161. There's two legs running. Been on 161 off the nine. That's world class. Big 20 to lead the top. So he's got to that point where Goto has got to go. Go on, go for a one. Ah, oh, tops. Ball one ball would have just. Uh, to finish me off. Oh, he loves it. And why shouldn't he? You heard the scream there, the roar. Has he left? You're going 140. He's led at last start, but this would be for the set. Went tops, tops. 100. To where you require 48. Big moments here. Big moments. To win the second set. If he misses, it will probably cost him the set. That's pressure. Just moving over. He feels the flight's just blocking him. 32. Ryan, you require 40. No mucking around. Steps up to the hockey. Surely. Yes. When you've got 38 rounds of the barrier above the tops, it makes it easy to hit with the second dart. I think that this is him, this is what he does, this is the way he plays. And that comfort that he was feeling, I'm saying it's 100% disappeared, but this is the third time he's been on it. What way is he going this time? For the set. He had a dart at double ten. Look, I've said it a million times. This is why you don't go for 20s for 104. When will people listen? Possibly the worst. 40, what he could have had and afforded right, an opportunity 20. here for Sell. He just can't be wayward. Okay, and that... Sir, four playing Ryan, sir is the equalising leg in this set. And he just needs to find a way to go ahead. Has broken himself once, and this is a good response. What a time for your third one, 80. That is magnificent, isn't it? Wonderful from Goto. 
Wonderful from Searle, the pearl. He has responded. He has responded. What a leg of darts. That is not a disaster. It's not. He's on a two-darter if he gets a poke. If he gets a poke, he's going to get a poke. 94. Koya Yukuan, 97. Oh, Goto taking his time. Big step up. 97 points between him and a fourth set. Double 12. Ah! How good is that? That is absolute quality from Tomoya Goto. But it, at least he rescued it with a treble. Yeah, there's been too many of those. 25 treblous visits now. Yeah, now all the pressure on to go to. Again, he's, he's left 104 on quite a few occasions. Hasn't yet been able to hit it. Yeah, I don't think he's actually settled on any way he likes. I'll have to tell him about the 48 way and then he'll learn. 56, Ryan, you require 102. For the mat. 57. It's not a disaster. Tops. Okay. Told you it wasn't a disaster because you can still finish from there. That is the match. And he shakes his head, but look, I can assure you that Ryan Searle is pleased to get over the line. Ninety-four. He finds himself in a year, I think. We had that explosive, that one to one the highest average he's ever had. We had that back in 22, and I guess we just haven't seen quite a, as much as that, but it's been the consistency that's been the key. 20 for tops for the opening leg against the darts. Double top for Josh Rock. Yeah, the That'll do it. Josh Rock. Little 15 dart breaker throw to start the match. Chance here for Vampire. Needs the treble. Can't find it in that grimace from Vampir. So another crack at the double eight. Sticks one just outside again. Sure. Double four's not there either. Barry Vampir gifted an opportunity to break straight back. You'll see him stick his hand in his pocket. This is all a legacy of him overcoming dartitis. It's the processes he goes through to get in a position to throw the dart. And he's thrown that out to the board. Eventually he gets the 20. Yeah, and then, yeah, the turned out that first one was a good marker. Master stroke from Barry Van Peer. Yeah, a little Game. smile, shake of the head. 40 for Rock as he looks to continue this little pattern of breaks of throw. First 180. Oh, Not quite. Somehow found Not his way through 180. between those two. Top to Rock. 40. Very wild 106. All the issues with the outer rings. Vamp here. Has to hold his throw, but himself within one leg of the opening set. 16, yeah, and that is some exemplary Barry finishing Barry there from Barry Vampir. The match goes the way of Josh Rock. Barry Vampir, ball for the sets. Misses it, and there's the 180 from Rock. Could it be decisive? It could be. Went the 19's route, couldn't get the treble. And he's left himself double three. Double eight for Berry. Tidies it up, takes the set, shrugs his shoulders. If you're going to miss doubles, pal, I'll take advantage. It's a single to double shot there. While he went for the bullseye. Four hundred and thirty-six. Fifty-six. Back up the tops. Tens. Forty-six. Very well, Josh Rock. Doing this 
starts at doubles and Farah only in set two. Oh, double three then. Takes a closer look. It is in the double 11. Everybody's having a look. It's still in the double 11. Anybody else want to look? It's in the double 11. And that's in the double three. viewers joining us from Sky Sports main event, Josh Rock, the former World Youth Champion, is in a spot of bother here. He is outscoring his opponent, Barry Van Peer, but he is struggling to hit the doubles, something that is not troubling Barry Van Peer. Can he get double 13? Oh, my word. Well, that is a set goal missed by Barry Van Peer for a 2-0 lead in a race to three. Josh Rock should get a dart, does get a dart, double top to turn the set around! Big moment! Well, Barry Van Peer has hit back brilliantly here. One, two, one left after just nine darts. 97, Barry Van Peer, 21. Treble 17 and Bull. The 2 0 in sets, Good. and this time Barry Van Peer pins it. Josh Rock, a brilliant ton plus finish. It looks like it might help him level the match. Barry Van Peer said no. Here is favourite for the leg. We've seen a 106, we've seen a 121. Van Peer won't be adding. The 154 to that collection. I think perhaps another go. And that's wild from Rock. 45. Very required 96. Slap of the hands in frustration from the Northern Irishman. Doesn't really need to look at double double. He gets the treble double A. And it's another fabulous finish from Barry Van Peer. At the end of legs, he has been lethal. At Alexandra Palace, it does not look like it's going to happen. It looks like it's going to be over before it's even begun. And then there's a maximum from Josh Rock. And that's the thought of a celebration. Barry Van Peer, who has finished so flawlessly, is not going to seal it with a 170. 96, Josh Rigon, 101. So we saw Rock get that 107 to save the previous set. Can he add the 101? Double 16. Get yeah, that the is the excellent the from Josh Rock as he turns to his supporters and says, I can do it, it is there. But he's now up against a very inspired version of Barry Van Peer. Well, the last shot better than even the three previous ton plus finishes from Josh Rock, and he isn't going to produce it. And now he's relying on a man who has finished almost perfectly, 65. missing. Very required 68. And Pitt just taking his time. Didn't take too long, the crowd are getting involved. Josh Rock's trying to tell him to calm down. Barry Van Peer doesn't care. He's missed. He's actually missed the checkout. Oh, upsteps, Rock. 17. The tops in the set. Yeah. Josh Rock is still alive. He survived two match starts. Barry Van Peer, will he come to regret not putting Rock away when he had the chance? Good to see that bounce out. Van Peer's making him pay. Oh, oh, doesn't he just? Very required, 82. 21st Trebleus visit there for Rock. He's going for 82 here. And gets 82. Scoreboard error there. He, wanted, he was told he wanted 82. He took out 82 and Barry Van Peer breaks the throw.
at the start of this set. To a finish, it's a massive one. He has pulled some serious rabbits out of hats in this game. Very vampire. Good guide for the treble. Well, he went treble 16. I, I don't know why. No, I am not sure. The same as you, but no damage done. Vampire back for 48 Six. and the match. More match darts for Barry Van Peer. He missed two to win this game 3 0. He should get two more to win it 3 1. Credit to Josh Rock. He's asking the crowd to get the best of order. Barry Van Peer steals himself for another win on the Ali Pali stage to continue his debut. To take out the world number 23. Tops. And it is Tops! Barry Van Peer with peerless finishing sees off Josh Rock for the loss of just one set. Yeah, 12 Graham is oh, it's extraordinarily light. The E is playing some of the darts of his life, and let me tell you, some of the darts of his life is good because he's a former world champion, former world master. Weren't the first. Bullseye. 61. Yes. Now, Steven, you're 92. 92. It's a rat attack finish. Right in and double 16. And, and what a way to punish. Steven Bunting. Fantastic start for Bunting. Georgie Noble, the referees, has never been called a liar before. What a set of darts. Well, yeah, two 14 dart legs, and now he's set up an 11 dart potential, an easy 11. Oh, and Joyce, I mean, he's got a hope for a chance. 83. Stephen Uruguay, 40. He's been annihilated in this set. Can he pop double 16 for the third time? Look at this. Just like it grew there. What a set of darts. 115.62 for Stephen Bunting. Yeah, and again, it changes this visit. And Stephen doesn't have to be aggressive. He just has to leave his 32. Exactly. Changes the visit. Double eight. 108. Like John said, it changes the visit. There's no ball. There's no 25 left. It is straight yeah. up for double eight. There's no leaving a bogey number. 100. Ryan Joyce is hoping Steven, you require 16. that he comes back for the 104, but all he's doing is hoping. No score. Wow. Ryan, but he had, you know, he's going to be rusty there because he hasn't got past that 32 too often. And just a, the most dreadful of darts. I mean, totally the wrong shot. Mate. 72. Oh, I've said it before on 104. Stephen, you require 16. Well, there's two options you can't mess up. Treble 16 or treble 19. Yeah. For the second set. Keeps going outside. He got to attack it, and he does. Stephen, Stephen Bunting gets the second set one. He's in total control. In all honesty, John, I thought this was a five-setter all day long. Oh, yeah. I mean, of course, we hope for those, so we tend to... Our viewpoint is, is skewed by that. But still, yeah. the performance he had in the first round would have lived with bunting better. Oh, yes. Sixty. Stephen, you require 32. He's filling the leg with that double 16 jump from leg one. I think he's just hitting a ton to leave the 32. It'd be crazy to go for the ball. Yeah, thank you. Oh, he's going to hit two of them. That works. Are you surprised he missed the second ball? I'm surprised he doesn't do what I said in the first place. Hit the ton, leave the 32. Now he's left the double. He despises. What if Ryan gets another treble here?
What if he has 100 left now, and now there's pressure on hitting tops? Yes. Steven, you require 40. For the match. There was pressure on hitting tops, so right, but he copes with it. Steven Bunting is put in an absolute worldie. 107.28 average. Period of time without really pushing the envelope. You just become accustomed to mediocrity, I guess you could say, and I'm not trying to be harsh, but it's it's very hard to break away from that once you're endured and inured into it. What a setup. Nathan Aspinall with a 177 to leave himself double 12, but this is for a break of throw. Oh, superb. One just above, well, one Ricky finds the mark, good. and Ricky Evans, Game. having lost the opening leg, convincingly has hit back. Throwing for the set. They're getting their eyes in. How about this? How about it? Oh, Double sweating. ten. Baffled, Maybe he missed it by so much. Oh. That was a set dart. 14 segment. The Asp wants the ball. Does not get it, and Ricky Evans returns Ricky for the opening set. 20. Absolutely needs that double ten. This is an opportunity you can't yeah. miss, and he does it. First start in. Ricky Evans will, after a completely shut off first leg, he's stormed back three legs on the trot. To leave a double, you go for a leg. Don't forget, he missed the 140 on the double ten. 96, Nathan Uruguayan, 24. Double 12, then. To stop this rapid Ricky run, nice and he's unable to do so. Ricky yeah, that is that could hurt a lot. Let's we'll see if Ricky delivers that pain right here. Oh, double eight and yeah. two darts oh, only. Absolutely Ricky crucial miss Game. by Nathan Aspinall in that leg. Now. He's got two visits from here, minimum. Of all people, I don't think Ricky can afford to take his foot off the gas. Pedal to the metal. On the countless times we've seen Nathan Aspinall battle back from way, way back. You saw it, the Grand Slam, he very nearly overturned Rob Cross. They're both averaging more than three. Four. Nathan Aspinall needs a treble. Gets it, double top. Gets oh, Ricky Evans is flying. Ricky. He is flying. And Nathan Aspinall has lost six legs on the bounce. The world match play champion is in all sorts of trouble. Leg here now from Nathan Aspinall. Nine darts to one, two, four. And considering all oh, things going, and now oh, Evans Nathan leaves himself better. Well, it's almost a must 12 dart leg for Aspinall. Treble 18. Does not get it. It is a oh, decent leg from the Asp. Ricky but Ricky Ricky Evans Ricky. has been decenter. Double 18. Game 11 data. Can he be stopped? Well, that's the Game. second set in a row he's opened with an 11 dart leg. Two bullseyes to leave himself on a one treble combo. But this is for the match. It's for the match. It's for a sensational win. Oh, you almost, you almost can't believe it didn't go in. I mean, it, it seems so likely. Double 19. Gets it to save himself. Dart missed. More darts incoming Ricky from Ricky Ryan Evans. 40. And he eggs himself by and says, Come on, tops. Game. Rapid Shot. Ricky oh, Evans Ricky has Evans. flown past Nathan Aspinall. The world number six is out and absolutely annihilated by Rapid Ricky.